Okay, so Japanese SAR offensive player Masataki Yoshida was officially posted yesterday. He is off the board today, receiving a $90 million guarantee from the Boston Red Sox for a five-year period. So five years, 90 million bucks on the Boston Red Sox who made their first big splash of the offseason. They brought in Kenley Jansen earlier today on a two-year deal for about 32 million, 16 per. This is a big one. This was a primary target of the Yankees, too. So, um, and who need a left fielder now that they've signed Aaron Judge, but this is a big one for the Boston Red Sox. And they are also heavily in talks with Xander Bogarts at potentially bringing him back. So, and this print to me shows that the Red Sox are not gonna rebuild or tear things down, then I don't, you know, I, don't I doubt they're going to trade Rafael Devers now, which I thought they were going to do earlier because they were apparently quietly taking phone calls on him. But now that they've decided on Yoshida, it makes sense for them to potentially try to re-sign Bogarts and lock up Rafael Devers. They were $60 million apart. The Devers camp wanted $300 million for the young 26-year-old or 25-year-old third baseman. Um, they offered $240 million, so they're still quite a bit apart from each other. But... That says they might pivot now and, and try to do some things. They clearly want to start uh, becoming a contender again in the uh, American League after being pretty much a last place team last year. So, And uh, they did lose a couple of guys. I mean, it's Nate Evoldi still out there. And we're early in free agency. We're only, you know, toward the tail end of the winter meetings right now. So more moves can happen. But this one just became available. Again, it's by uh, John Heyman of... of uh, well, it's on MLBTradeRumors.com as well, but John Heyman of the New York Post put it, and it looks like a five-year deal, and the agreement is official. So, and again, this is the this beats Seiya Suzuki's uh, got a five-year, eighty-five million dollar deal from the Cubs. This beats that. So, the biggest outlay for an offensive player from for uh, in Major League Baseball from the Jap from Japan. So, and again, you have a good solid contact hitter there with power. who has got a low strikeout rate, so he'll fit in well with that Boston Red Sox lineup. And I don't think the Boston Red Sox are done either. So, but this is a big splash today. And uh, again, I don't think they're done. Let me pull out and see if anything else is happening while I'm here reporting this. Because I'd be happy to share that with you too. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, you know exactly what to do. We do that before you leave. So you don't miss all other news pertaining to the winter meetings. Especially if you're a Yankee fan. Um, let's see, I got some Ken Rosenthal. That's just continue to work on uh, trying to sign Andrew Benatendi. They're looking at Michael Conforto, too. And Michael Brantley is still an option to bring back. But they, they lost out on Wilson Contreras, who signed early with the St. Louis Cardinals. So um, I expect them to uh, make a move at some point. I'm, I'm just afraid they're going to pivot and, and bring in Carlos Rodon, who is right now heavily into talks with the New York Yankees, which I really hope happens. But we'll see what happens there. But at the news of the night right now, the first big splash of this evening, I expect more moves to happen. So, um, Masataka Yoshida is headed to Boston, headed to Fenway, Beantown. So, that's the news right now. I will keep it coming one way or another. This is Jason signing out. Talk to you next time.